Welcome to Dance Fit Biz Builders. I'm Orit, dancer, instructor, and proud owner of a thriving belly dance fitness business. And in this podcast, I'm giving it to you straight, sharing what it takes to kickstart and grow your dance and fitness business for the success you deserve. Whether you're a seasoned instructor, a passionate performer, or dreaming of turning your love for dance and fitness into a thriving career, you're in the right place. Lace up those sneakers and pull on those dance shoes and get ready for truth smacks, tips, and inspiration. Let's do this. Hello, and welcome to Dance Fit Biz Builders. I'm Orit, and this is episode 32. All right, so in this episode, we're going to be talking about selling. Do you feel weird? Do you feel weird selling to your students, your clients, to even your email list, right? I know for me, I get totally turned off when I get all these sales emails in my own inbox, right? Totally understandable. And you may too. But there's a much better way to look at it. See, you have to think about it this way. Most people come to your class, come into your community, right? Or come on to your email list because they believe in you. They believe that you can help them and you can, right? So when it comes time to putting an offer in front of them, it's just as beneficial for them as it is for you. So that means your email list, your students, your clients, they're finally getting the help they need from your programs, from your resources, from your coaching. It's a total win-win. In fact, if you can help someone and don't offer them the opportunity to help them change their life, you're totally doing that person a disservice. Now, does that feel better? Does it feel better to think of it in that way, right? So if you're ready to give your audience and your email list, your students, your clients, whatever it is, what they came for, here are three quick, sleaze-free ways that you can start changing more lives and getting more cash, right? And you're not going to feel salesy. How about this? How about one? Run a fast cash campaign, like a fast cash injection. But what's not going to make it super salesy is if you just offer it for like three to four days. Because why? You'll create urgency. Like, for example, offer a special discount or a bonus or bundle a product together, yeah, with your existing programs or classes or packages. Cool? And even better, guys... Black Friday is right around the corner, and this is the perfect time to try it out because you know with Black Friday deals, everything has urgency. So just by offering it for three to five days doesn't make it feel too bad because you know it'll be over in a flash. All right, the next thing I suggest is, look, this is a real quiet way to sell. How about maximize your real estate of your postscript, your PS, the PS at the end of your email. Did you know that this is one of the most read parts of an email? Did you know that? Why? Because lots of people scroll right to the bottom to see what's going on. So include a call to action. Include an action right at the end. It just makes sense. And the third quiet thing that's totally evergreen is leverage your email signature, right? Your signature is valuable real estate in an email. So be sure to include a link to your offer under your name or somewhere in that area. Okay, this makes your most important offers always visible without even having to mention them. Did you see that? You didn't have to do a thing. You just let your offer live there permanently, right? So keep in mind, guys, that once you start making offers, this is just normal, normal part of business. And a few people may unsubscribe here and there, but so what? They weren't meant to be in your community, in your world. But just keep track of your open rates, your conversion rates, and your click-through rates to see 
what's really working and what's not. So guys, I hope this helped. Those were three easy ways to get cash injections without feeling so sleazy or salesy. All right, folks, until next episode, now go kick ass.